Welcome. This is the energy vibration reading for the um, for the um, Leo Sun Moon and Rising Sign. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful like, shares, and support, you Leos. Like, shares, and support. Thank you so much for um, the positive um, energy. Please subscribe, subscribe, and cross watch the uh, monthly readings or up. So go check out the monthly readings. Definitely, the monthly readings are up. Go check out the monthly readings. Okay. I want to say to each and every person, this is a week of the five weeks. So it's going to be a very positive week. It's the first week of April. Week begins from the first until the seventeenth. So let's see what's coming up for you, Leos. What is coming up for the Leos in this week? Okay, we have the energy of the I Princess, and that is your angels and guides coming in, alerting you to a situation. We have the energy of the star, which is a beautiful. So you have two major arcana. I've seen that some of you have already made a decision about um, a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn man for five years and older. You have some regrets about the situation. Whatever it is, there is some regrets, and it's as if now you're seeing the truth of the situation and the truth, truth of our organization. The week is called for rest. Okay, whatever is happening, the week is calling for rest. And whenever a week is calling for rest, is that you need to be focused and understanding. It's as if um, the central of the week, it's all about rest. It's all about uh, um, having some rest. Okay, you need to rest. Whatever is transpiring and that sort of a thing, it's all about rest. So you begin the week with a water energy, then you have a hair energy. And the water energy that you have is the six of the six of swords, which is in the reverse form, and that is saying to you is that you already make a decision about the Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn person. Okay, this is someone who is uh, is it Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Yes, no. Some of you Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Some of you is the King of Swords. Okay, so. Um, whoever this king of swords is is um, a situation where you would make a decision about this person because you're already turning your back and you're thinking you know whatever it is whoever this um, person is this is um, this is definitely a person and you have really have some regrets connected with this person whoever this person was it's as if you wish it at hope that you have never connected with this person in whatever way and however this person um, play out in your life and you decide I no longer want to have a um, connection with you because you realize that it only brings you sadness and regret so obviously this could be a twin mate or a soulmate because the fire sign and the air sign goes together Sorry, I'm having my coffee. So it could be a twin flame or a soulmate situation. And this is someone that has to do with an organization. You could have met this person in an organization, or you could have met this person in business. You could have, this could be a family member or someone, but it's as if listen to your intuition. Okay, your intuition is going to be guiding you on the right part. You're going to be overcoming, and this person could be an Aquarian. So you could have met an Aquarian man, and you you have already decided, hey, nope, I don't want to have anything to do with you. I am leaving you behind. There is definitely some decision that needs to be made. Whatever is happening, there is some decision that needs to be made, and the Eye Princess is alerting you. So your intuition. Is going to be very high. The air princess is alerting you about a certain decision that needs to, uh, to be um, happening. Okay. Mm, yeah. Um, you're trying to find inner strength to deal with a situation because this is if you've decided to let go of a situation. This is if um, you have decided, I no longer want to vibrate with the situation, whatever it was. Um, you no longer wants to vibrate with the situation and you you're walking away from the situation basically you're going to be receiving some help um, whatever the situation is you're definitely going to be receiving some help and some um, there is a new start that is coming okay 
I'm seeing three people, which is not very nice people. Okay, it could be you guys that is um, pushing around, but I'm seeing that you're going to be overcoming a, a situation, and good news is going to be coming in. Okay, so um, there, people are not because here I'm seeing that some of you have some regrets. Um, um, some of you have some regrets about a situation that has occurred in an organization, but definitely you're going to be receiving help. I'm seeing here um, where it could be that three friends, three sisters, whatever it is, it has to do with three friends, three sisters, and there is going to be some regrets. So now we're going to be looking at what these regrets are all about because definitely um, these regrets are coming up, and, and regrets. Um, situation doesn't come up if we're not supposed to look at them okay situations don't come up if we're not supposed to look at them and obviously um, these situation came up so obviously we have to take a look and see whatever that was happening or transpiring okay so there's definitely um, some of you are going to be receiving help from a Aquarian, Gemini, or Libran. Um, it is more coming up with the star as the Aquarian. So some of you are definitely going to be receiving help from this Aquarian, but um, the Aquarian could come up as a government or an organization or um, an, an institution or organization, and they are going to be helping you. But for the rest some of you have some regrets over a situation that has transpired because you're going to be thinking oh my god i really really didn't see this coming whatever this is there's definitely a new start that is going to be coming in because i'm seeing you need to rest some good news is about to come to you and you need to rest whatever the, whatever that is transpiring around you you need to rest listen to your intuition about uh, making a new start okay listen to your intuition about making a new start because this is going to be turning out much better for you because um is this if because these are major arcana and when these major arcana comes up and line up together they are saying to you um whatever um intuition you have over a project or that sort of a thing listen to that intuition because what is transparent what is happening is definitely that um you're right on target with what is transpiring around you okay so let's look at um because um i change up the reading again i just think that um when i change it up there is just certain information that is coming out some of you have to make a decision Whatever the decision that you make, you're going to be coming out of this decision on top. Some of you just, just decide on something that, hey, it's over. I don't want to deal with it anymore. I don't want to deal with you. I don't even want to realize that you exist anymore. And uh, um, um, and, and, and this is with someone who's an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Okay? And for some of you, for some of you, this is an and help. Yeah, people in power is um, some of you are going to be dealing with um, someone in power, and they could want to work together with you, or they're working on your behalf without you even knowing. Say thank you, thanks to the universe, thanks to the person who is doing that. Okay, because sometimes we're not aware, but sometimes we're not aware that people are working on your behalf and this is like someone who truly 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 is coming from a good place because only that sort of a people work on a behalf people other people who does something for someone else without even knowing it it is just someone who wants something back in return okay so you have to be aware of who what when and how these sort of a situation occurs in your life okay I'm seeing three women and um, seeing some regret. So let's see what's happening because I'm seeing three women and I'm seeing some regret. And um, three, whatever three women try to do to you, 
and this for some of you is coming that um there's something that has transpired and it has to do with three women three girls it could be three girls three boys but it could be three people try to um, connect together to do something towards you an organization is going to be seeing that and you're going to be coming out being very successful okay you're definitely so twice the star is coming so whatever that three persons three persons try to work against you okay there is three what a female uh, men they try to work against you and uh, it's not gonna work because the universe is going to find a way to help you out of a situation okay the universe is going to find a way to help you out of a situation so not to worry um, so it's as if someone tried to stop you or, uh, or or block you or whatever three person come together to do something but it didn't work okay now we have these two energies and with these two energies what is going to be happening and what is going to be transpiring is that you are going to choose card one or two okay and this is the energy vibration that is going to be helping you you're going to be understanding what is happening for you in this week okay and we have the sacral chakra the sacral chakra so whatever is transpiring the sacral chakra comes up and with the energy of the sacral chakra um we have a situation where you're calling up on the universal angels and guides and the angels that protects your sacral chakra to touch open and activate your sacral chakra okay um and as you choose and this is number two so it's obviously duality there is duality in this week and um definitely there is some good news that is going to be coming in um, and um, whatever the duality, whatever that was playing, whatever that was happening um, with the energy of duality coming in, it's going to be wonderful. You have to call back on your sacred chakra, okay? I'm going to give you a tone that help you with your sacred chakra. Conflict and defeat is in reverse, so that means the conflict is definitely ended and whatever and whoever was trying to defeat you have to stand back and watch how it's been done <laughs> okay so stand back watch how it's done okay so some plot was made or was um someone has plot something whoever has plot this the situation okay there was some regretful um things but someone has plot three women three sick little women or men it could be um women or men okay they don't even look like they are women or they they look more transvestite okay um and there's nothing wrong i love you transvestite guys you're just jamming it okay so whatever is transpired it, it's as if yeah but whatever they plan it falls through now for the sacred chakra this is good because the sacred chakra is the orange color so for who choose card number one it's for the orange color and what you're going to be doing is visualize yourself in orange so just visualize you're standing in an orange ball or a triangle of orange okay and the sound is vam v a m Bum, 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 bum. and if you I want I want I want okay that is the key word I want okay sacred chakra is taking back your power it's going to affect the testicles and um, the ovaries so you might feel a little bit um, sexual in this week and it's because bum 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 okay so that's a lesson for you order a reading and um listen to these readings your monkeys are out i love you guys i gotta go